Jalen Berger and Jarek Broussard combined for 174 yards rushing in Michigan State's opener against Western Michigan. But the question remains, can this combination equal the great production of Kenneth Walker from a year ago? Let's dive in. Before we get into the video regarding the Sparty running game, just a reminder to hit subscribe, ring the bell to stay notified whenever there's an upload, whenever there's a live stream, you want to be in the loop. Hit that bell to stay notified. If you love the B1G, this channel right here is the place to be. Let's talk about it because Jalen Berger, the Wisconsin transfer, Jarek Broussard, the Colorado transfer, are the running game for Michigan State this season. Instead of going into the portal and grabbing one, they decided to gravel, they decided to grab, gravel, grab two guys. I'm gonna put up a graphic over here that talks about the 2020 season comparing Kenneth Walker at Wake Forest to Jarek Broussard at Colorado. You can see Broussard in six games rushes for more yards than Kenneth Walker did in seven games at Wake Forest. If you look at this and say, Jarek Broussard rushed for 895 yards in six games, that's pretty impressive. Even though Kenneth Walker had a nose for the end zone a little bit more at Wake Forest, and if you know anything about that season, last season, 18 touchdowns for Kenneth Walker, he really had a nose for the end zone when he got here to Michigan State. So what does this mean? Essentially, if you divide it right down the middle, both Jalen Berger and Jarek Broussard would have to rush for around 900 yards and eight touchdowns apiece. I don't think that is going to happen. And I'll tell you why, right? I think this is going to be more of a passing offense maybe than years past. I think the running game, I shouldn't say it's going to be complimentary. I just don't think that either of these guys, both Jalen Berger and Jarek Broussard, are on the talent level of a Kenneth Walker. I'm not sure if they're on a game-breaking 60, 70-yard touchdown type of talent that Kenneth Walker was. You felt when he touched the ball, great things were going to happen. I think when I look at the talents of Jalen Berger and Jarek Broussard, I see a complimentary. I don't see necessarily playmaking quite yet. I know we're early into it. Jalen Berger looked good. He looked steady. You know, three, four, five yards. Didn't really pop off any big time runs. And Jarek Broussard was kind of, kind of the man behind him. I think they're going to split one, two pretty evenly this season, although it looks like Jalen Berger might be the guy that might get more rushing attempts and more rushing yards here this season. But I think you're going to see him throw it a lot more. I think Daniel Barker is going to be involved. I love the way they incorporated him. I think they're going to go to him a lot more than just down to the red zone to get those red zone touchdowns. Although he is going to be a big time weapon down there uh, in the red zone for Sparta. I think they're going to throw it a lot more. Uh, Jaden Reed, of course, is one of the best receivers in the Big Ten. Trey Mosley on the outside. I said it in the preseason. I think Peyton Thorne is an underrated quarterback as far as Big Ten quarterbacks are concerned. Um, so I think this is going to be more of a passing game. The running game is going to be more of a complimentary threat this season. That being said, I think both of these guys, talented guys, not sure if they're quite on the level talent-wise, as a Kenneth Walker. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think they could combine and be the biggest two-headed monster at the running back position in the Big Ten? Or do you agree with me and think Michigan State is going to throw it around a lot more? Leave your thoughts, comments below. Subscribe to Big Ten Ted. I am Big Ten Ted. Let's have a great college football Saturday, and we'll see you in the next one.